Is Taylor Swift trying to date Drake? Plus, Justin drives the wrong way in the UK. Oh no, and Niall still has feelings for Ellie Golding. All that and more on today's rundown. Kim Kardashian finally surfaces to support Kanye, and Jennifer Lawrence has a new man. But first, Justin Bieber might be in trouble again. Tuesday night, Justin Bieber and his crew swerved into oncoming traffic in England. Remember, they do drive on the other side of the road there, but footage was caught of him and his entourage of SUVs racing through the streets, going in and out of traffic. CMZ got hold of this footage that shows Justin, the car that he was in at one point, pulling to the right side, which is the right side here in America, but the wrong side in England. <laughs> so I guess the police do have the footage from this incident, but they're not taking it too seriously because Justin was a passenger, so it's not like he can face any serious mm. charges. Maybe the driver of the car would. Mm -hmm. But right now, it just seems like it was pretty dangerous. I know some people spoke out and said what they saw, like some of the other drivers. Witnesses. Yeah, they were just a little bit scared and freaked out, and they were like, it's not smart. And I guess what? If you don't know how to drive in England, don't you drive. You shouldn't. I yeah. wouldn't drive in England. Yeah, I know, because I would do this very thing. Mm -hmm. Because I forget. You forget, especially if you've been driving Absolutely. a certain way your whole life. Like, this is a very easy, easy thing to do. But, Justin, I mean, it seems like he can't not get in trouble. No. Or I, either get his no. headline, a headline that doesn't involve him and trouble in it. Well, we think Kim Kardashian is starting to feel a little bit better. And the reason why we think that is so she started surfacing again. Last night, she was out supporting Kanye at the Forum in LA at his concert. She was with her mom, Chris, her bestie, Jonathan, Kendall, Courtney, and Corey Gamble. She was kind of dressed down, though. Usually for these events, she dresses up, and she's super sexy, and she's always making a fashion statement. But she was just wearing a black t-shirt. Um, she was wearing heels, so some people think that means she's getting back on track. Not sure what I think about that statement. A source told ET that Kim had a dozen or so armed guards with her at the time, and that the Keeping Up with the Kardashians film crew was also backstage filming everyone, but Kim was not being filmed as of last night. So Yeezy St. Pablo concert turned out to be very, very star-studded, you guys. Katy Perry was there with some friends celebrating her 32nd birthday. She tweeted out, just went in the pit at Kanye West from a B-Day. 32 is looking up. Katy was very alive on Snapchat last night. She showed a couple of videos of her um, just having the time of her life eating a hot dog, because it's her birthday, why not? She also was hanging out with Halsey. They attempted to possibly kiss, but it didn't happen, at least <laughs> that we saw on Snapchat. But there was this moment on her uh, Snapchat where the part in Kanye's famous song where he talks about Taylor Swift, where Katie was snapping in that part and just making a face. She also tweeted out about having her birthday week and she was at Drake's birthday party mm -hmm. earlier this week, so I don't know, I feel like if you're Katy Perry, you should have a birthday month. Well guys, Jennifer Lawrence, I haven't talked about her in a minute. This is actually know, really exciting. So <laughs> yeah, she has a new man. It's Darren Aronofsky. Amid rumors that she's dating Hollywood director Darren Aronofsky, Jennifer was seen grabbing dinner on Friday at Commissary at the Line Hotel in LA with Darren. And after dinner, the two were seen getting in the same car together. So yeah, this definitely smells like a date. And a source confirmed to people that the two are dating and keeping their relationship very low key. Source also said dating Chris Martin really stressed her out and quote, with Darren it will probably be different. He does not attract attention like Chris does. He does not seem like the type of person who enjoys being a celebrity and Jennifer is the same. So Jennifer and Darren met over the summer working on a movie. Mm -hmm. This kind of seems like the right fit for her. I kind of yeah. agree with this source. Yeah, but it seems to me that she really likes older men. Oh yeah. So I don't I don't know what that means. I guess she just wants like a mature guy who's got it together mm -hmm. because Chris Martin, he's got it together. He even though he is a rock star, he's kind of seems like a normal grounded yeah. guy. And Darren, he seems like like you said, like not a guy who's interested in fame mm -hmm. and not interested. But still interest gets it but gets what she is into. Yes, and he's in the business. I mean, the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is if they worked on a movie together, that means he was like directing her in a movie, and I just, the track record for directors and actresses working out, 
Is it very good? I know. There's like a thing called showmance, right? You get caught up in the moment. I know, and you're so creative and yes. open emotionally during that time. It's easy to like have feelings for someone. Mm -hmm. But of all the people that she's dated, I do feel like this one might yeah. have some staying power. And they're cute. They are. The internet is a buzz today <laughs> about Taylor Swift possibly dating Drake, everybody. I just don't know how to process this information <laughs> because to me, Drake is kind of like the boy version of Taylor Swift. Totally. You know, and totally. back in the day, I would have shipped these two. But now that their relationships have kind of played out, I don't know if I ship them together at all, but the internet is still talking about it. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about it. So you guys know that Taylor Swift attended Drake's birthday party this past weekend. And what's interesting about that is that Katy Perry and John Mayer were both there. So to me, if I'm Taylor Swift, it's been the year 2016 and it's been rocky for me. I don't know if I'd show up to a party with Katy Perry and John Mayer at the party unless I really liked a person. So a lot of people are trying to make make this shipping happen because, happen because of that. Also, there's a source that says that they were very flirty at Drake's party. Drake apparently joined Taylor in her booth after dinner where they were, quote, intimately flirting, talking closely and laughing. And then another source says that Drake spent more time with Taylor than his own mom at his party, which I mean, I don't blame him. Why would I hang out with my mom at my birthday party? Uh -huh. That seems really weird. Uh -huh. And also days after the party, Taylor inst Instagrammed a paparazzi shot of her walking into the party, looking really hot. So she's very happy that she got dressed up for the occasion. And you know what, they're both single. And if they started dating, I, I would I shouldn't be shocked. I know I don't I, I don't ship it. Can Taylor Swift just like not like no? Just I stop know. It. Just give us an album. Like don't that, yeah, that's get all we need. caught up in all of this romance. I will say stuff. that Taylor has a thing for meeting guys on dance floors, so maybe she just like feels the need to always go to dance floors because her Prince Charming might be there waiting to dance with her. Mm, I don't I know. I think her Prince Charming is not in the business. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's probably like a computer programmer and like Kansas. Well, one of our faves, Wendy's Nell Horn, stopped by The Ellen Show to promote his new single and drop some pretty intimate details about his personal life what? playing a Would You Rather. This is a little bit of a spin on Would You Rather. It was Who'd You Rather Date. Niall first picked Rihanna over Taylor Swift and Lady Gaga, but then when Demi Moore comes in, he picks Demi Moore over Rihanna. But you gotta watch what happened next. Demi Moore and Selena Gomez. Selena. Selena, Selena, and Demi Lovato. Selena. Selena and Diane Keaton. <laughs> Diane Keaton. <laughs> Diane Keaton, Ellie Goulding. Ellie. Ellie Goulding, uh, Rita Ora. Ellie. Ellie Goulding, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, oh, Ellie. For a second there, it kind of seemed like Selena was going to be Nell's top choice until Ellie Goulding was put in the mix. Ellie then dominated every round until the end, being crowned the winner. She even beat out J-Lo and Kendall Jenner. Okay, well, we know that Niall and Ellie actually dated. For a brief time, several years ago. Yeah. yeah, for like four and a half minutes, but whatever, it happened. Yeah, it happened. So for him to put her above all these other girls, yeah. Either he had the greatest time with her when they were together and they split and it was very amicable and they were like really great friends, or maybe there's something there. There's still something there. I don't know. I don't think we should discount the fact though that Selena Gomez, he chose her for several rounds mm -hmm. and he only, he, then he chose Diane Keaton just to spice it up to make it funny. Yeah. But I think that if Ellie Golding wasn't in the mix, that he might have stayed on Selena. I think Selena might have maybe not wanted to date Niall. It really? seems like he kind of is interested and she wasn't as I, much. I can picture them together. Honestly, I can. Yeah. Like, when I picture them in my head, they seem like they'd be a good match. Yeah, but Ellie Golding, there is, I don't know, it's interesting. They're both single, I think, so. I honestly had no idea that they were really even a thing way back when. Yeah, also I loved in this interview when Ellen started interviewing Niall. She's like, listen, um, I get that I look like you a lot. And I had never put two and two together. It's their but hair. They look so much alike and they dress alike too, which That's is so, funny. so, so funny. All right, guys, this is a really big question, a big moment, a really big moment. I'm so excited. I'm like really nervous to see what you're gonna say. Do you think that Taylor Swift and Drake are dating or should date? 
Let me know what you think in the comments. I have a fear of what you might say, though. I'm definitely not feeling that drift, oh. okay? <laughs> definitely not. But I want to know from you guys, who do you think that Niall should date? We obviously know who he choose, but who do you think you see him with? Because all that matters is what we think. Totally. No, I mean. no. We're, we're here to like help him, yep. obviously. We're the support system that he needs on the internet. Yeah. Uh, guys, thanks for hanging out. Let us know in the comments. And I guess tomorrow's another day mm -hmm. on the Dur. For more, click to the left for Lady Gaga's Road Rage on Carpool Karaoke. Or click to the right for Justin storming offstage again in the UK.